Dow Jones reporting that the, the company has ditched their plans to import the Focus compact car from China to the U.S. starting next year, citing uh, an un the expected hit from uh, import tariffs that were put into effect earlier in the summer. You know, we, we keep hearing a couple themes. One, of course, is the sort of global supply chain that all of these auto companies have created and also uh, the very difficult market for small cars in the U.S. and how you have to keep costs so low. It's very difficult to make them here and actually turn a profit. So those two things running up against the, uh, the tariff barrier that makes it that much uh, tougher to even import. Uh, those uh, those models. Right. I mean, the, 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 obviously, the thinking here is purely economic. Makes sense to, to build a car in China, lower cost, until you have to pay an additional 25 percent tariff to bring it back here to the United States. I think the other headlines here is that it, it won't have a big impact on sales. No jobs will be lost by canceling the U.S. Focus active sales. But one of the questions this raises is, does it mean more production back here at home? Because if so, then that has been one of President Trump's objectives. And he would look at this as a win. We don't want all the cars to be built in Mexico and China. We want them to be built here. We're going to level that playing field. Do we have Phil? I think Phil LeBeau ha has some reaction. And maybe, Phil, you can help answer that question. So do the Focus cars get made here instead if they're not going to be made in China because of the tariff? Yeah, this is the car that was going to be made in Mexico. Then they were going to make it back here. Then they were going to make it in China. This is the car that doesn't have a home. Keep in mind, people are moving away from cars. Ford has essentially thrown in the towels when it comes to cars. Uh, it's going to be basically coming down, uh, making a limited number of sedans. So the focus, um, while that name will be here, the, the car that you're expecting to see coming out of China in 2019, that was in flux because they are shifting most of their focus and attention, uh, pardon the pun there, over to SUVs, crossovers, and pickup trucks. This move is clearly an indication uh, that Ford not only is trying to figure out what to do with tariffs in relationship to any vehicles built in China and then brought back here, but at the same time, this is a portfolio that's a mess right now. They're trying to figure out where they go from here. And so you've got two things at play here. Clearly, the tariffs are an issue, and that's in, uh, one of the reasons that they're explaining here. But at the same time, this is a company that is trying to right-size and fix its portfolio in the United States. And the Focus is, is one of those vehicles that, guys, is, is in flux, so to speak, as they shorten or shrink the number of cars that will be sold here in the States. Uh, to answer your question, that's a long-winded way of saying, Sarah, I would be surprised if you see the Focus built at a facility here in the United States, the Focus that we see on the streets right now. A tough week for Ford, uh, Moody's downgrade, and then today, Phil, right. Morgan Stanley, Adam Jonas comes out and says the cash flow uh, will fall significantly la uh, next year, substantially short of the dividend payment, and they do see a, yep. uh, they forecast a 50% cut in the common dividend. Right. And at the end of the day, it comes down to a lack of clarity. Nobody on Wall Street knows what the reorganization plan is going to be. They canceled an analyst meeting that was scheduled for early September, and they said, we're still trying to figure out exactly what we're going to do with our mobility services. Uh, when you talk with Adam Jonas, when you talk with any analyst, they all say the same thing, which is, look, there's some p real potential here at Ford if they can fix this business and figure out where they want to go from here. But nobody knows that they, where they want to go. It's unclear even when you talk with people inside of Ford where they're exactly they are going in the future. All of that is weighing on the stock, and now you see a stock that, what, it's down almost another 2% today, down at 951. I'm not sure what the 52-week uh, low is here, but it's also a multi-year low. It's down, I think, in the 935, 940 range. So, um, guys, these, this is yep. a company that is struggling to figure things out.